Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss trend line and trend models in Tableau. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting video. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is trend line? So trend line is used to add or highlight trend in your data. It could be positive or negative. Trend line is basically if you are analyzing sales, so you can use trend line to analyze if your sales are increasing or decreasing. For this, you can add a trend line. Okay. To add a trend line to the view, both axes must have a field that can be interpreted as number. You can't use trend line if you are using suppose name or product name and sales. Okay. You, your both axes should have a field that contains number. Okay. So trend line has multiple models that is linear model, logarithmic model, exponential model, power model and polynomial model. Let's discuss trend line first then we'll move to trend model. Okay. Let's see how we can use and create trend line in Tableau. I'm using sample superstore data set for this video. I will provide the link in the description box to download this data set. So to use trend line, let's use some fields. So I'm using category let's drag it to column and drag sales as well and to use trend line go to analytics and under model you can see there is option trend line but still we are not able to use because we already discussed to use a trend line we should have numeric values in both axes okay for this let's drag order date and convert it into continuous value okay and drag segment as well and drag into color segment okay now let's go to analytics and now you can see we can use trend line so let's drag trend line when you drag trend line there are five options that is linear logarithmic exponential polynomial and power model okay now use linear first so you can see a trend line is added if you want to add this trend line you can just click on the edge of trend line and go to edit if you want to change the model of the trend line you can just select other model and change it so factors are on which basis you want to calculate trend line so here by default tableau is considering both category and segment that is used in our view so if I want to unselect it, you can see trend line has changed. And if you unselect both trend line has changed, if you select only segment, so trend line is calculated based on segment. Okay. As of now, I'm using both factors. Now there are some options available for trend line. If we want to show or hide the tooltip, you can just select or unselect this show tooltip. Next one is show confidence band. Uh, when we use confidence band, Tableau automatically show 95% confidence line when we use trend line. Okay, when you select it, you can see these lines are added here. Allow a trend line per color. Basically, if you are using encoding color in your view, so that you can use this trend line per color to add a single line to ignore encoding color. Okay, and this option is recalculate line for highlighted or selected data points. Basically, if you select this value and you are uh, selecting any data point or highlighting any value, it will calculate trend line based on this highlighted or selected data points. Okay. Force Y intercept to zero. This option is used when we want to start our trend line from zero. Okay. Now let's click on. Okay. If we want to format your trend line, just go to format, go to trend line and you can format from here if you want a straight line you can just select here if you want to change its color i'm using dark black and increase its opacity as well and if you want to increase the width of the trend line you can just select it from here okay if you want to lead the trend line you can just select the trend line and remove it okay now you can see trend line is removed okay 
if you have noticed so when you hover on the trend line or select the trend line there are some values are populating the first one is basically the equation of linear model that is y is equal to b0 plus b1 into x here b0 is intercept of the line and b1 is slope of the line okay y is sales and x is month of order date next one is r squared so r squared is basically used to check if the model is suitable or effectively fit our data or not so r squared is made measure between 0 to 1 if r squared value is near to 1 then the model will be more effective next one is p value so p value is basically used to measure the significance of trend line if the value of p is less than 0 0.05 then the then the line will be more effective or we can say that smaller the p value more efficient the model is okay if we want to see the description of the trend line you can just right click on the trend line and go to describe trend line okay here you will get some values like first one is p value that we already discussed equation is the equation of a linear model that is we already discussed is y is equal to b0 plus b1 into x and some of these value as month of order date that we are using for columns and this is intercept and this one is our slope and this is std error basically you can see standard error or is used to show the distribution of coefficient estimate and t value t value is used to test the null hypothesis okay and this is again p value that we already discussed if you want to copy them you can just click on copy and select all this value okay this is about trend line okay if you want to see description of this trend model you can just right click on it and go to describe trend model okay and here you will get the information about this trend model let me just increase the size of it okay from here you can read like we are using trend line model which is calculating data based on sum of sales based on and month order date okay and the model may be significant at p is less than 0 0.05 okay and this is the formula that is used to calculate this values and these are the total number of observation and number of filter observation is 0 model degree of freedom is 18 next one is df df is basically the difference of model observation minus degree of freedom okay next is ssc ssc is some squared error that is basically the difference between observed value and the value predicted by this model okay msc msc is mean square value which is ssc quantity divided by its corresponding degree of freedom that is df okay r square value and p value that we already discussed these are the field that are used in our view category and segment for this we have df ssc msc okay and this p value okay and here for individual values like in segment we have corporate consumer and home office so under these values so they are furniture office supply technology these are value under category for every row and column we have p value df and intercept values okay so all these value you can see under describe trend model okay and if you want to copy this value you can just click on copy and copy this value now if you have multiple trend lines and you want to edit them all so you can just right click on it go to edit all trend lines and you can add it from here okay next one is show recalculated line suppose i have selected this point now you can see a new trend line is added for this segment corporate okay and the real one is here and this is new one okay if you don't want to use this so recalculated line you can just unselect it and now if you select it you will not get a new trend line okay we have discussed about how to use trend line and how we can add it this trend line and see its description now let's discuss other trend model as well as we already discussed we have five trend line model that is linear logarithmic 
exponential power model and polynomial we already discuss our linear model let's move to our second model that is logarithmic model so it is defined by y is equal to 0 plus b1 into log of x b0 is same intercept of the line b1 is same slope of the line and now log of x okay one thing to remember here this is not defined for value that is less than zero if any negative value is coming will be filtered out before estimating the model okay let's see how we can use this model let's rename the sheet model second for this let's use sales and profit and create a scatter plot disaggregate our measure and now let's drag our trend line into logarithmic model from here you can see our logarithmic model is created and you can see this r squared value and p value is calculated and this is the formula here intercept is calculated and also our b1 is calculated okay our third model is exponential model exponential model the formula for exponential model is y is equal to exponential of b0 into exponential model of b1 into x or we can use y is equal to b into exponential of let's see how we can use exponential model into tab view we use exponential model just edit it go to edit and change it to exponential model okay now you can see the model is changed to exponential model if we want to check its formula here so this is formula is used here and this is r square value and p value okay our next model is power model so the formula for power model is y is equal to b0 into x power b1 okay let's use power model as well now just click on this go to edit and click on power and click on ok now you can see we are using power model noun and from here when you hover it you can see the formula for power model okay now our last one is polynomial model the formula for polynomial model is y is equal to b0 plus b1 into x b2 into x square and so on here we can define the degree of this polynomial model and that is in the range of 2 to 8 okay let's use polynomial model to see just added this go to polynomial and from here you can set the degree when you change the degree the trend line will change okay as you can see when you changing the degree the trend line will change okay just click on okay this is how you can use trend line and trend model for your data thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos